we think that for every cure there is a medicine what would happen when the medicine itself is a poison <laughs> This is Nusrat and today I'm going to talk about something really important. What do we do when we are facing some kind of medical issue? Suppose you have a headache, you're probably going to get some medicine, you're probably going to take some aspirin. Suppose you're having sleeping problems, you're probably going to have sleeping pills for that. And it's completely okay as long as your medicine is being prescribed by a doctor, take the painkiller, take the medicine, that is required to help you cure your medical condition. But what if the medicine itself turns into the poison? Now, this really doesn't mean that all medicine are bad. But one thing we all must remember is that every medicine has some kind of side effect. When we go to a doctor or when we fall sick and when we take medication, why aren't we reminded again and again that each medicine has some kind of side effect? And this is something we as general people really forget again and again. Did you know that in 2010, over 21,000 people died of painkiller overdose? And do you know that after a decade, that is by 2019, the number increased to 50,000 people? That's 50,000 people dying of painkiller overdose just in the USA. Let that number sink in. Did you know that too much of aspirin can actually damage kidneys? Or did you know that relying too much on sleeping pills can actually damage your brain? When you're going to look through the side effects of medicine, especially medicine which is used for a long time, you're going to get shocked with just how fast the side effects are. Now this really doesn't mean that medicine is bad and you should completely stop. You're probably going to go through some kind of condition a disease, a disorder, or some kind of problem for which you require that medicine in the first place. So while that is okay, but the margin must be remembered. But the margin also must be reminded. Every medicine has a side effect. And the question is, do you want to take responsibility of the side effect? Now you could be wondering, what could we do instead of being reliant on medicine? Well. And to begin with, you could go back to the ancient ways instead of being reliant on something, a pill or any kind of artificial medication for something like sleeping problem or for something like uh, vitamin D deficiencies. Try to go natural. You can look for solutions in Ayurveda or in other natural healing techniques. And you could really try and see that whether you can prevent yourself from becoming dependent on a certain type of medicine. Now, if you're diabetic, if you have cardiovascular diseases, then of course you should be taking your medicine, you should be taking your blood pressure medications, or you should be taking any kind of medication that is important for your medical condition. However, because you have a medical condition, this is why you should also be really, really alert of the other medicine you're taking. For example, if you have cardiovascular diseases and you are unawarely taking another medicine for something else like sleeping problem or for some other kind of problem which may actually aggravate your pressure or your heart's condition. But these are things you should really be conscious of. Just be a very conscientious consumer. Just be an alert consumer. Try not to become too much dependent on medicine. Have medicine in the right amount when you require it. Our bodies are amazing healing machines. While we may not have solution for every diseases, there's still going to be some kind of solution present right within our body.